Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video we're going to go over how to check your blood sugar. As a nursing student, you're going to have to learn the skill of how to check a blood glucose using a glucometer. As a nurse working in the hospital setting, you will be checking your patient's glucoses, especially your diabetic patients. Now, if you're watching this video because you've been newly diagnosed as a diabetic or you've been experiencing bouts of hypoglycemia, meaning your blood sugar drops, and you bought a glucometer just to monitor your blood sugar, this video will help you how to do that because I'm actually gonna show you myself of taking a blood sugar, how to do it. And I'm gonna go over all the supplies with you. Now, check out my other videos on how to do a quality control test on your glucometer how to poke your finger with a lancet, and how to load your lancet device if you're confused on any of those things. So let's get started. This is a basic home glucometer testing kit that you can get. Now nursing students, your glucometer in the hospital will probably look a little bit differently, but they all work the same. Now, if you were newly diagnosed as with diabetes and you need some advice on getting a kit, I really recommend that for your first kit that you get a kit that comes with a meter, comes with test strips, a quality control, your Lancet device, and your little Lancets because this will help you when you're first starting out and it'll have everything you need. And they usually come with a little carrying case, a little um, book log, and you can have all your extra supplies. So let's go over what's in this kit. First thing you have are your testing strips. Each monitor comes with a specific testing strip. So when you run out of testing strips, you have to buy the test strips that go along with the monitor. And please note, this is so important. Once you open up these test strips, they're only good for four months, okay? So right on the bottle when you open them and they're only good for four months. And make sure you check the expiration date when you buy them to make sure that they aren't expired because if you use expired test strips, you'll get wrong readings. And your test strips look like this. This part will go into the monitor and then this part will collect your sample and we'll go over that here in a second. Next, we have the meter itself. So small, but very handy. They've came a long way. They used to be very big. Um, usually you can hit the on button right here, whatever your monitor says. Always read your glucometer monitor settings because they all work a little bit differently. But this one works, you can hit this button right here or just put in the test strip and it comes on itself. We have our quality control. You'll always wanna get some type of quality control testing because when you first get your monitor, you wanna do a quality control test just to make sure it's calibrated right. And then you'll wanna perform it you know, every other couple days and especially when you change out your strips. And another thing that is important to know, this solution is only good for three months from the time you open it and it expires after that. So keep that in mind. Next, what we have is a Lancet device. You will need this so you can actually poke your finger. Um, what you do is you unscrew that, you load the Lancet in there and you engage it and then you poke your finger and we'll go over exactly those steps on how to do that here in a second. Next, you have your Lancets. These right here are um, 30 gauge and I just wanna show you the different gauges. You can get various gauges of Lancets. You can get 27, 28, 30, 32 and 33. Basically what it is, it's the size of the needle and a 30 gauge is usually sufficient enough. The lower the number, the bigger the needle. So if you have really thick skin, um, you might wanna go with a bigger gauge, but usually 30 is sufficient enough for people. And then this is just a little test log. A lot of monitors are fancy and they'll keep it stored in as a memory and your doctor can just upload it, but this one is just basic. And um, you wanna record what your blood sugar is so you can keep track of it, take it to the doctor with you so they'll be able to see what your blood sugars have been reading. So now, and also some alcohol prep that you wanna clean your fingers with. So now let's get ready and check our blood sugar. 
The very first thing you want to do before you check your blood sugar is wash your hands with warm water because that's going to increase the blood flow to your fingertips because when you check your blood sugar the best place generally is to check the on the fingertips um, some devices say you can use your forearm your palm but this device specifically recommends fingertips so after you wash your hands you're going to get your supplies and what i like to do is get everything set up so very first thing it doesn't really matter what order you do it in just as long as you do it we are going going to prime our Landsat device. So in order to do that, the Landsat devices look a little bit differently, but they work the same. They generally twist off right here, and you're going to take the cap off, and this is where your Landsat is going to go. Your Landsat typically has these little grooves around it, and it will fit snugly inside this part. Now I just want to show you something. Whenever you push this part in, notice it engages the needle. Now, whenever you're ready to poke your finger, you're gonna hit this button. And when you hit this button, like that, it takes the needle and pokes it in your finger. So, what we wanna do is just get that lancet inside the device and line it up with these grooves and just push it in snugly. And we're going to go ahead and engage that. And now we need to expose the needle. The needle's been protected by this little area right here. So what you do is just simply twist it off and if you can see right there it's exposing your needle now we're going to put the cap back on and we're going to just twist this on right here and we are almost ready to go but if you notice can you see these little numbers right here on the device this is how deep the needle is going to go into your finger to draw blood. So here's generally the rule. You'll want to read the instructions on your Lancet device, but typically you want to use a one to two setting if you have really thin skin, a three to four setting if you have just average skin, and a five or six setting if you have thick callous skin. So what I like to say is one to two, if you know, women, we tend to have thin skin. If you're on corticosteroids or your hands bruise easily, probably one to two sufficient enough. Three to four, typically young people have um, a lot of collagen in their skin. It's average thickness. Three to four is good. But if you're a man who works a lot with your hands, even women, and you have calloused hands, a five or six is definitely where you want to go because you want to be able to draw enough blood in one stick. So here me, I am just going to slide mine to a three because that's sufficient enough on me. Okay, so we have our Lancet device ready and we can't hit this button yet because remember the needle will go off. So we're just going to set that aside. Now we're going to get out our test strips. And remember, these were good for how long? Four months. And what we're going to do, I'm going to let you look at the test strip. Always read your device's instruction, but on this device, um, this part goes into the monitor, okay? And then this little part is where it's going to actually suck up the blood sample. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide it into this part of the monitor, and it'll turn the monitor on for us. Okay, see how I did that? Okay, now we are ready to poke our finger and see what our blood sugar is. So what we're gonna do, you want to clean the finger off with some alcohol prep so and massage on your finger because this is getting all the blood flow to your fingertip and you're gonna use the pad of your fingers and we're gonna go right on the side of the finger, okay? Not in the middle, but on the side. That's typically where those little capillaries are and you get a really good read, a really good blood draw from that. So I'm massaging on that. I'm gonna clean the area with alcohol, let it dry thoroughly. Now, after I poke the needle into my finger, I'm gonna wipe off that first drop of blood because there's still some alcohol in it and it could dilute the little specimen that you're giving the monitor and throw off your reading. So always remember to do that. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to line it up and you're going to see a small drop of blood. So if you're squeamish with blood, you might want to not watch this part and get my first sample and I'm going to wipe that off and then I'm just going to squeeze a little bit more. You don't really have to squeeze too hard. It gets enough, but you want a good size drop and then you're going to put it on the end of the monitor like that and it sucks it up very neat and we're going to see what the reading is and then hold pressure where you poked your finger. And my blood sugar is 85, very good reading. Okay, so 
After you get done with that, record what your blood glucose was or chart at nursing students what it was. Take your strip out, discard, discard your Lancet. Do not reuse your Lancets. These are only a one-time use. Watch out for the needle. You don't want to poke yourself. And usually nursing students in the hospital, these Lancets have a safety device and you would just throw the whole thing away. But throw that away um, into a specific container. Diabetics, you can get um, specific containers where you can dispose of your Lancets. Usually, I think maybe the health department gives it out. I'm not for sure on that, but there's special containers because you just don't want to throw this in the trash because someone may get poked by it. So that is how you check your blood sugar. I hope that clarified some things on how to check a blood sugar. Be sure to check out my other videos on how to do the quality control test on your glucometer, how to load the Lancet device if you're a little confused on that, and how to poke your finger with the Lancet. So thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to this YouTube channel.